Alright, we made it up in one piece. No! <laughs> and we made it down in one piece. Hey, it's me! Welcome back to another Tickle Your Fancy, Fine and Dandy, More Than Satisfactory playthrough episode. I hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new here, if this is the first episode that you're watching, make sure to check out the link in the description as well as in the card above for the complete playlist with all of the episodes of this playthrough series. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. If you enjoy this, please consider subscribing. And for those of you that are joining me from previous episodes, thank you so much for continuing to watch this series. Uh, let's get right into the recap. All right, so last episode, we built the second floor to our refinery factory. And we added these two refineries up here that are taking in polymer resin from those guys down there, which are turning in our crude oil into fuel and also this polymer resin. And the plan is to convert these up here to plastic. And once we set up more, we'll have some for making rubber as well. The only thing that we didn't finish last time was hooking up the water source here and while you guys were sleeping this is how hard working I am. I ran my butt all the way back to base, all 2,300 meters, and loaded up that guy down there. Me and that guy went all the way back to base, and it's fully loaded with supplies. Uh, I'm carrying a bunch of supplies as well. So we were able to make everything that we need for the water extractors that are shown in the list on the right. And we also have enough materials to make more refineries more than four that's just what i'm carrying right now so today the plan is to get this level uh producing plastic and perhaps rubber hopefully we'll get that far so let's get right into the episode all right first things first is we need a water source whoa look at that thing down there looks like a helicopter is that that's in the water right yeah that's all water <gasps> there's a waterfall out there that looks like it just flows out to oblivion. It's probably going off the map. But holy moly, this is like an unlimited water source as far as we're concerned. So we're going to go ahead and start dropping some... You need to place this. That's not deep enough. This isn't deep enough. Oh, but over here is. That's deep enough. All right, all right. I'm one... Oh! Okay. Well, it's not shallow enough that we died. Oh god, there's a uh, there's a problem with this. There's a freaking army of these damn flies that are gonna attack us as soon as we get on shore. So we need to prepare ourselves. We need to be armed and ready and try to take one out before it spawns. Headshots all day, baby. All day. All right. Wait, is this oil right here? Oh, we have another oil node. But it is a normal node, which, as far as we're concerned, is way beneath us. We've got two pure nodes over there. All right, now let's see about placing these water extractors. I mentioned that I wanted to have them come up from the side, so we're going to swim to the other side. Oh, God, these bugs are all over the beach. Okay. Round two. Fight! Okay, I think I think we're clear here and I, I hear that sound of one of those whip objects. Is it in the water? How do you, how do you, how do you sink? You sink, you swim down. All right, whatever. No, it, it's not a whip object. It's a it sounds like a slug. I believe there is a slug up there, but that's gonna have to wait. Okay, so this entire area is deep enough. I feel like it'd be nice to have a bunch here and then take it up to that ledge and then bring it across. So, I mean, if they're further away too from the beach, that would be, that would just make it a nicer aesthetic, I think. So we're gonna lay a few down here. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. What? What? Who's talking? What specimen? This... what? Harvest. What the fuck? 
This game is scaring me. What am I harvesting? This? This thing? Who's talking? Is it above me? This game just got really creepy. I, I have goosebumps right now, folks. And it's getting dark and I don't like it. Alright, let's see if we can get up there. This side of the map is definitely creepier. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. It's, uh, seems to be blocked off by gas. Maybe we can get around. There's the slug I thought I heard. But that looks like a normal slug. So, yeah, this is just a normal slug. I'm dead. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm dead. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna be spawned all the way back at our base, aren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that just happened. That's that's a bummer. <sighs> Excuse me while I run 2,300 meters. back we're back and ready for action okay get, 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 get. what oh no oh we're dying back away now where's the where the hell's the bug it disappeared as soon as we got our weapon here didn't want none of this give me that whatever dude I got barrel nuts now let's see what's over here so what we were hearing was definitely not up here. Not sure what exactly it wants us to harvest. Hey, there's another wreck. It might have more computers. All right, now let's see what the hell this thing was yapping about. What did it want us to harvest? Can't be talking about these things. I mean, we've already harvested those. Oh, maybe we need to cut this down. Oh, okay, we need biofuel. We now have the biofuel we need to cut this sucker down. So let's see what's here. <gasps> okay. Mercer sphere. Dude, that's all it wanted me to get? I've already collected a Mercer sphere before and it did absolutely nothing, so... Jesus, I can't believe I wasted... I, I, I died for you. Alright, well we've got two pumps, which should be enough for what we need right now. We're gonna go ahead and route those out here. We get in. That's too long. Okay, let's, uh, let's lay down a support. And I'm thinking we'll come up right around there, so this might be good. And we can keep it underwater. Maybe it'll be cleaner that way. Yeah, that kind of works. And uh, now we need to get back up there. Let's see if we can build the ladder. All right, we made it up in one piece. No! <laughs> and we made it down in one piece. God, that is a very tricky line of sight. I think we need to get to this side a bit. God damn it. Oh my God, where am I? What the? Okay. Ooh, there it is. There it freaking is. Floor is too steep? Oh no, you don't. Okay, fine. Build a platform. That's it right there. That's a winner. Except we should have turned it. Okay, let's let's place the support down first. And we're gonna have to get rid of this thing. Let's make sure we're gonna turn it in the right direction. Okay, we gotta cut through the smoke, the gassers. That's about good. I'll die. And let's go to a vertical, vertical layout. Oh no, it's going through the yeah, I don't like that. How about the default layout? Somehow we made it normal looking. Oh, it was the it was the turning it around that messed it up. Guess we need to put it more on the edge. Don't like it on the edge though. Alright, well. So be it. Yeah, that works. We have to run for it through here. make this jump Yahoo! oh no we can't oh no oh thank god we didn't die would have been very 
very sad. I had to run all the way back again. But things are looking up, folks. I don't want to take chances this time. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? One of these supports down here. I'll line this up. Wait, where am I? Holy shit, what am I doing? This is not the right floor. I was wondering why that was so far back. I felt like the stage was a lot closer to the to the water or over the water. Well, that's silly. We want to get it to here and then bring it up. Yeah, that works. Doesn't have to be pretty right now. We're going to have to add pumps along the way cuz that is way more than 20 meters from here to the extractors. But it looks good. Now we need to run power to the extractors as well as these guys. I don't think I hooked these up. And for that we need to go get cable. By the way, this is my state-of-the-art storage facility because I didn't have enough mats to make an actual storage box. Throw a slug on the ground, why not? Hopefully it doesn't crawl away. That would really suck. And uh... There's the cable. Alright, well, we also need wire. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, let's try not to fall here, because this ain't fall, guys. Yes. Okay, and to run power to the... Whoa. Why are these being consumed if there's no water? Okay, it's just been loaded. That's cool. Okay, now to run power to the extractors, we'll just do that on the ground floor. This is gonna go down in the water, but we can't go out too far. Oh man, it's not, it can't go down into the water because it's not deep enough. But that, that'll have to do for now. And then we need, we're gonna need some pumps here. So I think we'll add one right down here. Okay, I added a second one here, and I love that they added this feature. Now when you lay pumps down, it actually shows you where the previous one is providing lift to. And you can even, it even like snaps to. So that second line down right there is where we need to place the next one, because this pump is providing lift all the way to the there, and you see it'll snap to it. And then the second ring up there that the traveling cursor is going to is where my current pump that I'm trying to put down will provide lift to. So um, I'm just going to snap it there. That is so sweet. All right, and um, I need to give those two power, but we'll do it from the top. There we go. So those two have power now, and we'll add the next pump, which looks like it's gonna be there. The pipe is too sharp. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. We can provide one just before, since it can't snap to there. And then the next one should be enough to get it all the way where we need it to go. We'll add one more connection out here. Now let's go up to the top and make sure that we are indeed getting lift all the way to our refineries. This is so exciting! These things should be full of fuel. Or sorry, these pipes should be. Yeah! Very, very excited to unlock those power generators. Can't imagine how much power we're gonna have. Whoa. Oh yeah. We're not... We're not removing the fuel from that pipe. So the way the refineries work is both resources need to be pulled out at the same time or else it can't run. If one is capped, then both just stop running. But uh, yeah, we have enough water here. It's uh, filling up to capacity. There it is, it's pretty much full now. And these only consume uh, 20 per minute. 20 cubic meters per minute, so that's only 40 cubic meters per minute of load. Our two extractors are giving us 240, so well, way, way more than we actually need. But yeah, let's uh, let's collect this plastic and see if we can start making some circuit boards. I guess while we collect the plastic, actually no, there, there's no byproduct here, so we're just making some pure plastic. Sweet, and 
Look at this, we have some excess. All right, let's head down and see what it takes to make the uh, circuit boards. Oh, okay. Circuit boards are not that complicated. We have a bunch of copper sheets here, so we might be able to make all the circuit boards we need. I don't know how many circuit boards it takes to make a computer, so we'll check that right after this. Oh, the computer also uses plastic, and it uses 18 plastic. That's a lot of plastic. Now let's make sure we're balanced here. I'm pretty sure it was two refineries making plastic to these four. So this is 30 per minute here. So in total we have 120 out of these four. 120 resin per minute. And then this, each one uses, yeah, 60 per minute. So it's only producing 20 plastic per minute, which is not a lot. But remember, we can add four more of these these refineries down here like that one crude oil node can support four more of these so we could double our output of plastic here when we need to might be a good idea to do that after we have unlocked the power generator just because it's going to add a huge power load and you can see how much we're producing already we've the max consumption has gone over our capacity, so we're towing a fine line here. But the other thing I want to see is, and also I forgot that we can switch this to, we, we should, oh god, I'm, now I'm really dead. That's what happens when you're not careful. God, that is so painful. We're not, we're definitely not running back there. We need to make another tractor. All right, folks, we're back. And you'll notice we got another Billy Boy over here because we sure as hell weren't gonna run back. So we made it back with another tractor and a whole lot more supplies. We're stuffed out the wazoo with supplies now. And I think this is actually going to be a good place to stop because the next thing I want to work on is getting is getting the next milestone done for the expanded power structure. So we're going to do that in the next episode because we, we really need to get the power generator since we're hitting our power capacity limits here and we need computers for that. So in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to unlock the power generators with the expanded power infrastructure milestone but in this episode we got our plastic we got our plastic capabilities up and running and we're obviously bottlenecked uh, with the resin right now because that pipe needs to be flushed and once we do that we'll have uh, plenty of plastic uh, but we need this pipe to supply fuel to our power generator so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to smash that like button as it helps me out a lot and tune in for the next episode when we hopefully unlock the power generator. Thanks for watching. Peace.